Shall we have a look at some stocking fillers then? Excuse all the layers today because it's absolutely freezing. It's like five degrees in here at the moment, so um, yeah, not the greatest. Right then, let's get down to it. Some of these are cheap, some are expensive, some of them you all laugh at me for, and you think, why on earth would I buy that for my loved one or my friend? And I'm telling you, as a woodworker, some of these, right, seem ridiculous, but they're a massive help. Yeah, huge help. So, first things first, we'll start with if you ever ask a woodworker, right, what they're missing when they go into the workshop, well, they always leave it will be a tape measure. Bear in mind, I have a spot for five up there. I have one in my hand, and I don't know where the rest have gone. And pencils. I buy pencils by the box load, and they last about a month before they've all gone walkies. Now, I think that might be a little bit to do with my children. However, I will walk around like this and not be able to find my pencil, and I'll look like this. Right? So, yeah. Pencils. Now, I've got a few numbers here. I'll put Amazon links in below. You don't have to go buy the Amazon links, but... Um, they're affiliate links, so obviously if you do buy them, we get a little bit of a kickback. Don't think that you need to. It's just easier for me to pop something up, and then if anybody's wondering about what I'm saying, then just click on the link, right? So, box of pencils. You can get some of these. So, what is it? Amazon box of pencils, 144 HP pencils for 12 quid. Like, you can't knock that. Now, uh, and like I said, a woodworker is going to love a box of pencils because they might, you might laugh at it, but for us, it's awesome. Second thing, mechanical pencils, right? Now, I love mechanical pencils for setting out. So if I'm doing a big job and I've got a plan and I've got certain things need to be in certain spots, mechanical pencils are awesome because you, like with a normal pencil, like this one and this one, I don't know whether you can see, this one's super sharp, this one isn't. Right, so this one's going to do a line that might be like a mil wide. This one's going to do a line that's maybe like half a mil wide. Whereas with a mechanical pencil, if it's like a 0.7 or 0.5, everything is going to be the same length or same width even. So yeah, so they're great. You can get by a, uh, a box of them, like 12 of them for seven quid. Make life a little bit easier, right? Now, countersinks. Everybody needs a decent set of countersink bits. These are the ones that I use. These are actually deburring drill bits. Well, deburr they're deburring bits is what they are. I'll put up a picture and you can see like what people class the countersink bit and then these. The reason I like these better is because these give you a nice, perfect, like, cone, I guess. And um, the other countersink bits, they can give you, like, a really bumpy surface. And I'm not a massive fan of that, especially on fine work. So, yeah, so those deburring sets, you can pick up a set of deburrings, uh, deburrers, four of them, for, uh, different sizes, for, like, 13 quid. So, perfect. You can get cheaper ones as well. Next one, right? Trend. Well, these are trends. These are countersink drill bits. These have got, like, a little bit drill bit in the centre with a countersink bit here. They've got a little allen key so you can move the drill bit up and down, change the depth. I love these. For when you're doing cabinetry, when you're doing a lot of like butt joints, end grain, stuff like that, being able to drill out and count the sink at the same time just saves so much time. So yeah, so they're awesome. <clears throat> you can get like cheap ones, you can get expensive ones. This one's a trend one because I had to go pick up the local guy. I would normally go for like the cheaper ones because unless you're doing loads of work in like nice hardwood and stuff, not really too much of a worry about it. These, these are a godsend, man. So this is like a hex socket bit, right? So hex bit, so it goes in your drill and socket set. So we, this one here, we've got five all the way up to 13. A lot of them go up to 12. My advice would be to get the ones that go up to 13 because, uh, yeah, because you get a lot of 13 mil sockets. They, they're nice because when you're building stuff or when you're taking tools apart and stuff like that, just makes life easier. Now, if you sit there with a socket or with a screwdriver, you can just pop it in a drill and, um, and go at it. One thing I tend to do when I'm using them is I'll set the clutch right down to like one or two, then that way I'm not gonna like hammer it in there, especially if we're going into wood or something. Top tip. And these run from like five to 10 to 15 to 20 pound. Again, it's sort of like the, the countersink bits. You can spend as much as you want to spend on them. If you just want to go cheap, go cheap, because it's nice to have a set there. And then if they want to go and buy some nice expensive ones, they can do, like I've got a set over there with uh, magnets inside them. So obviously when you unscrew something, the bolt stays in there. Beautiful. Something else, right? I really like, I, I bought this Ox Pro Series like little float level. I think this is a scaffold as well, so it's got some uh, magnets in there. I use this for so much stuff. I use this for making sure things are level in the workshop. It's always sits in my tool bag. It goes out for doing a little bit of fencing, fitting a gate, and I haven't, I don't need to check the big level. 
and it's perfect. These go from like 10 to 20 pounds. They do like a little torpedo level, which sort of looks a bit like this. Again, they're great. This one's a beast. I've dropped this, thrown it around. Really, really nice. What else have we got? Forstner bits set, right? So Forstner bits, this set you can get for like seven or eight pounds from Screwfix. Again, like I said at the beginning, you don't need to buy this stuff on Amazon. I would always recommend that you guys go and speak to your local tool merchant, uh, especially if you're an independent. I use a guy called uh, Wrights just down the road from us, about five minutes away. I would say 99 times out of 100, he has the best prices. And if he doesn't have the best prices, I'd rather pay him that extra one time out of 100 because a lot of the tool station screw fixes, those sorts of places, it, a, a lot of what I want is next day. So even though I go down there and I'm like, hey, I want this, they're like, yeah, cool, we'll order it, we'll get it next day. Well, I mean, like, what's the point? I can go in and speak to Wrighty, and he's normally got it, and if he hasn't, he'll next day, and I'd rather give him the money than give it to like a, a, a big store like Screwfix or Tool Station. So yeah, so you can pick up four bit sets for, how much are they? For like 20 to 30 quid on Amazon, because it's next day, right, Prime, Prime always adds that little bit extra on there, but, that screw fix special is quite a nice one. Remember, right, a lot of people, they think that they have to get really expensive stuff. Like they think they have to get really expensive drill bits. I just get the cheapest twist drill bits possible. And then if I need a nice bit, I just go buy a nice bit. Because you're gonna get a better bit on its own than you are from one out of a set. You, it's like pretty much always gonna be that way. And then my, oh, maybe not last. So second to last then, we'll say, you can get these Stanley tape measures in like a pack of two, like a three meter and a five meter, for eight pound from Screwfix or something like that. Again, they sell them on Amazon, I'll link below. And for that amount of money, you cannot knock them. They're not perfect, but do you need perfect, right? For the sort of thing that you're gonna be doing, if you're just gonna be knocking together a little workbench and making a couple of bits and pieces, Cheapo uh, tape measure, it's perfect. Especially if you're gonna be working outside, right? It's gonna get hammered. And last but not least, this thing is expensive, right? This is basically, I think it's like a woodpecker rip. I'm guessing it's a woodpecker rip off because they've even anodized it in red. This thing here, I've shown this to you before on the channel. This has got like little dots here. So we're at five mil, we've got a dot of five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, and then at 10, and it goes all the way up to 260 mil. It, it came, perfectly square out the box. It came in a nice case. And then if I'm sitting there and I'm like, right, so something I've just been building this last couple of days, I need to know I'm putting in special blocks at 100 mil in. I can sit there and say, right, that's 100 mil. I can pop my pencil in there and just draw it across. And I have a perfectly parallel line, nice and straight at 100 mil all the way. And it's really nice if you're like um, marking up and you're trying to mark stuff out. So you can go 100 mil and then it's like 150 mil and you do that one, you're like, right, there it is. Job's good in. These are not cheap. They run to, I think, I think on Amazon, they're about 40 pounds. You can normally pick them up. Obviously, it's not gonna get here for Christmas, but if, you, if you're happy to wait until after Christmas, you normally pick them up on like Ali or on eBay for like 26 to 30 quid. If you're not that fussed about that, another 15 pound. Like I said, they're on Prime. It's really difficult to find squares that are 100% square. And this has been, it's just, it's one of my favorite tools to use, if I'm honest with you. It's really nice. Oh, okay, yeah, and I kind of forgot this one. A little 100 mil square, okay? So this is 100 by 50. It seems stupid. Uh, there's one of these on Amazon, and it's like 20 quid, which is mad money. I think I paid like five quid for this one. But a little square like this is just nice when you're doing little fine work or when you want to make sure that your router bit is perfectly vertical in your table, when you want to make sure that your uh, table saw blade is vertical, want to make sure that your bandsaw table is the right way up, you know, especially if you've only got like four to six inches of clearance, right? That's perfect. And this is also nice for, like I said, just checking square on little fine works you make in a box or something. You don't necessarily, you don't necessarily want to be flopping something big like this around when you're just trying to do a little bit of fine work. Here. So, yeah, I see the size difference, eh? Apparently it's not what the size of it is, it's what they do with it that counts. I've, I've never heard, well, I've never heard that other than when a friend of mine said it. He says that quite a lot, apparently. So yeah, anyway, little square, right? So we've got mechanical pencils, box of pencils, deburring, uh, deburring drill bit. We've got a countersink drill bit with the drill bit in there. Hex socket set, torpedo level, or like scaffolders level, 
four slip bits and this nice T square. Now, oh, and the uh, and the tape and the tape measures. I know some of these seem daft, but from somebody who uses this stuff all the time, these things really make your day go a little bit easier, a little bit nicer. And that's ultimately what a lot of this stuff is. That's ultimately what the tools are. Is it's not necessarily for you to be able to do something better because like I've been using a Parkside track saw this week because my track saw died, 70 quid, right? And I can still do the work with that that I can do if I've got a Mayfell or a Festool. It might be easier with the Mayfell and the Festool and I might be able to do it quicker with those things, but I can still do it with that. These are just about making life that little bit easier. When you want to take a tool apart and you've got these excess, you just zip them out and in it. When your drill bit is connected to your countersink bit and you can just pop it in there, pop the screw in, happy days. A countersink bit that actually works, and you can use this in metal as well, because obviously it's, it's a metal deburring tool. Being able to have the same width line all the way down when you're marking something out, extremely helpful. Just having a, a box of pencils to be able to pick up and grab when you can't find one. Because a lot of our time as woodworkers is lost looking for stuff and trying to find things and trying to figure stuff out. That's why we're rearranging the workshop in the new year to try and make the flow a little bit better. For the bits again, like I said, you can go cheap. You can go really expensive. I think if you're only going to use them the odd time here and there, I do this for a living and I get a, I get by with a seven pound box of four the bits. And this T-square is probably one of the things that I'd spend the most money on because it has to be square, right? So you've got to spend a little bit of money on it. It's got to be square and the ability to just be able to pop my pencil in when I'm marking something out and go, there we go. Oh, makes life so much easier, man. Anyway, I hope that's helped you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, suggestions, anything like that, please let me know below. You're more than welcome to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, do you have any, if you think I've missed anything off, let us know in the comments below. Somebody might read them and uh, it'd be a big help. All right, you all have a great evening. Merry Christmas and I shall catch you on the next one, all right? Take it easy.